the most people know you from uh, being Mike Tyson's coach back in the day. Um, do, do people still talk to you about Mike Tyson and ask you about him? Uh, some, yeah, some some people come up and, and talk about Mike and they like try and like you know crush my brain. <laughs> And I, I, of course, I try to you know tell them the truth how I saw it, and um, I don't have no problem with that, you know, none at all. But uh, it, I, I'm not like a um, one of those. I'm not like a look at me, give me any, answer me anything you want, I'll answer you, and I, it'll be for an hour. I'm not like that. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, if you think about Mike Tyson, what is the best moment you have had with him? Well, the best moment was when he won the. The Trevor Burbick fight in in, uh, in Las Vegas, and that was the first belt. And uh, he knocked him. He knocked him. He, he caught him on the left hook, right on, on on the top of his head, and he and he he jumped up and down f for three times, and then he just laid out. It was, I mean, that was like one of, one of the like. Uh, there's no, there was no question about it. That guy, guy, that guy, took a great shot. And then all the, taking Michael Spinks out in '90 seconds was wasn't uh, something that I was thinking was going to happen. I thought it was going to be because you know Leon, a lot of people say, oh yeah, he went right through Leon Spinks. No, Spinks came to fight. He came. He didn't back down from Mike. He just ran into some punches, and that's what. And then that that's what stopped the fight. So, you know. That, that in itself, you know, Mike, when he won that title, he had all the titles, and he had, he had, he was married to Robin Gibbons, and things started to happen, and everything went all south. Right. If we look at, at the heavyweight division, there is not much going on. I mean, even in America, in the USA, there is not that many boxers. I mean, a lot of young people go to play basketball, play football, whatever. What happened? Why? What well, do you think? Boxing. Well, number one, the, the people that are controlling it at the at the, um, <clears throat> at the athletic level of, of you know uh, the Junior Olympic fighters that were back in the days were you know big time fights and this and that and uh, <clears throat> number one, you can't make more money if you're like six 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 seven six eight. And you can play basketball, That's true. so you would take that million dollars, whatever that was. But uh, th there's fighters out there; they're, they're out there, haven't they? Haven't sh come up to the plate yet, but they will. I mean, boxing's always been like been like that, where it's, ha it's had its ups and downs, and corruption and this and that. And but I, I see, you know, uh, what I see is that something's gonna. I see something will happen sooner than later. I, you know, I'm not a I'm not a predictor, but. Okay. Something's gonna happen. All right. My last question. Besides Mormek and uh, Klitschko, uh, who, which uh, heavyweights could also give us, uh, us boxing fans, a good fight? <coughs> who else is there right now? That's a good question because um, th there's really no, there isn't anybody really out there right now. Um, and what I'm saying is, we need to wait and see who who knows how to move a fighter. You know, people that who wants to put money up to back that fighter, because um, there's when you're the heavyweight champion of the world, you know, people like to see that, and they like to see you and how you act and this and that. And uh, so the best thing is if you if, if you're out there, and I know you're out there, always be pleasant, always be you know humble for everything that's, that's happened to you. Don't be one of these guys that want to talk all kinds of nonsense that no one cares about. <laughs>